Shiba Inu coin to $1 soon. Visa will accept SHIB. Shiba Inu coin prediction. 2021 has been excellent for Shiba Inu, with the token making gains of around 100%. In any case, the crypto has likewise not been saved for market instability, given that its present worth is 70 lower than its pinnacle. SHIB supply on trades dropped in recent weeks. This, to a reasonable degree, underlies the way that market members have effectively been purchasing this crypto. Its volume has also begun to pick its pace, and the price is also showing slight signs of recovery. If these two measurements keep on heading a similar way, SHIB's cost may mobilize soon. Today we're going to talk about how SHIB and Visa are linked to each other, and will that boost SHIB price? So watch this video till the end, because today's video is going to be the bomb. Welcome to Shiba Inu Coin, your daily dose of Shiba. If you're interested in everything around Shiba, this is the place for you. Subscribe if you want to stay updated with all the Shiba news, predictions, and stay one step ahead in the crypto world. Make sure to hit the like button for us to provide you with more Shiba news. Don't forget to enable all notifications to join our weekly cash giveaway pinned in the comments. Before we get to our topic, let's take a look at the chart and see what the price of Shiba is doing on the 30th of August, shall we? Shiba Inu is trading at 716 hundred millionths of a dollar in terms of its USD rate, with the price change of 0.41% in the last one hour. Shiba has a total market cap of 2,826,538,294 dollars with the 24-hour trading volume of 234,425,196 dollars. This makes Shiba Inu rank at 44 in the cryptocurrency market. As observed on the daily chart, Friday's rebound comes after Shiba price confirmed a symmetrical triangle breakdown earlier this week. The Shiba bulls bounced off the key support at the August 9th low of 685 hundred millionths of a dollar, around where the horizontal trend line support aligns. In doing so, Shiba price recaptured the 50 daily moving average at 720 hundred millionths of a dollar. Further, the bulls extended control and briefly regained the 100 DMA, although it failed to survive above the latter. The bullish reversal met strong resistance at 80 10 millionths of a dollar, which is the intersection of the triangle support and the short-term critical 21 DMA. Meanwhile, the 14-day relative strength index has turned flat, but still holds below the 50.00 threshold, suggesting that any recovery attempt is likely to remain shallow. On the downside, the bears could once again test the 50 DMA support, below which the above-mentioned critical support at 685 hundred millionths of a dollar could continue to guard the downside. Only a daily closing above the fierce confluence resistance at 80 10 millionths of a dollar could negate the bearish bias in the near term. Further up, sheep buyers could target the weekly highs at 870 hundred millionths of a dollar. Now let's get back to the topic. Visa has cooperated on a crypto-based rewards debit card with Crypto.com, which works its business in cryptocurrencies. Visa said recently that more than $1 billion worth of crypto was spent by purchasers all around the world on products and services through their crypto-connected cards in the first half of the year. But as Visa settled exchanges every day on those cards, it required Crypto.com to convert the digital currencies transacted into fiat monetary forms like the US dollar. This process was expensive, complex, and tedious. So in 2019, Visa proposed to permit settlements in computerized cash over a public blockchain. Through its accomplice anchorage, the first governmentally sanctioned digital asset bank, after two years of upgrading its framework, Visa chose to direct the new program utilizing USD coin. USD coin is a stable coin, which implies that while it's powered by Ethereum, it fixes its reasonable worth to the US dollar, giving it more value strength. Furthermore, USD coin has a reasonable arrangement of consistency and administrative convention set up, giving more certainty that traditional cryptocurrencies, which are decentralized and unregulated. We are doing a lot to create an ecosystem that makes the cryptocurrency more usable and more like any other currency. Visa CFO told CNBC that people are exploring ways in which they can use cryptocurrency for the things they would use normal currencies for. He also mentioned there are lots of issues in terms of volatility, etc., 
but that's up to the owners of cryptocurrencies to manage and track as per late exploration from Visa's rival, MasterCard. North American customers intend to utilize crypto or other arising payment technology, like biometrics, contactless, or QR code frameworks, in the following years. The investigation likewise showed that 75% of recent college grads would utilize digital money if they understood it better. We see a lot of volume on our network of people buying cryptocurrencies at these various regulated exchanges, and as far we can see that trend. Stable coins like USD will probably lead the way towards standard adoption and usage. This all explains that Visa's adoption of the Shiba Inu coin is on the way. SHIB has proved to be a coin with actual use and is doing a lot more than many other altcoins. SHIB is rising and the development of its network gives it an opportunity to partner with Visa. There have been a lot of talks regarding the matter that SHIB will have some kind of stablecoin component. These talks along with the decentralized exchange ShibaSwap. SHIB token, the perfect opportunity to collaborate with Visa, the coin is showing slight signs of recovery after remaining under dark clouds for a few weeks, and it gave a difficult stretch to SHIB. At this point, Visa's crypto platform remains a minuscule piece of a business that processed nearly $11.4 trillion in debt and credit card transactions globally last year. But the value of its efforts lay far beyond the fees Visa currently generates from its crypto-linked cards. Should crypto continue to grow in use in the coming years, the company is counting that it will be in prime position to benefit. It is an approach in line with Visa's overall fintech strategy, one where, rather than being a disruptive influence, it actually creates more distribution points for Visa's network, Bank of America analyst Jason Kupferberg told Fortune earlier this year. Not all elements of Visa's fintech strategy have succeeded. Its proposed $5.3 billion acquisition of financial data provider Plaid fell apart publicly last year after a Justice Department antitrust lawsuit laid bare the company's insecurities about a burgeoning fintech volcano, as one Visa executive phrased it, that threatened its business. But Visa has since rebounded from the scuppered deal, having announced the acquisition last month of Swedish fintech startup Tink, which operates a Europe-focused open banking platform similar to Plaid's. That deal is valued at more than $2.1 billion. Moving forward, crypto is as critical a part of Visa's overall digital strategy as any facet of the broader fintech revolution, and one growing in importance. Kai Sheffield, Visa's head of crypto, told The Block last week that the company had increased its number of partnerships with crypto firms more than 40% in the previous four months alone. Visa says it doesn't intend to stop at USD coin, but intends to add more stable coins to its settlement platform. SHIB, after the launch of ShibaSwap, has more than every reason to launch their own stable coin. This might help them to partner with Visa and go mainstream. More specifically, the company plans to support central bank digital currencies, CBDC, as they become available. CBDCs are digital currencies issued by a country's central bank directly to its citizens. Several countries are well along in their development of a CBDC framework, but most are still exploring the concept. Bank for International Settlements found that roughly 80% of countries' central banks were engaged in some sort of CBDC. Experts say that while cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin started the crypto conversation, stablecoins like USD coin will likely lead the way toward mainstream adoption and usage. That's all for today. Also, we would like to mention that this is not a channel intended specifically to provide financial advice, and we do not ask you to invest in any company. This is merely a channel directed towards bringing educational content to your doorsteps. With that in mind, before you invest in anything, we recommend you do thorough, wide-spectrum research on the topic. We hope you like this video. Let us know in the comments below if you're a Shiba holder, and make sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time at Shiba Inu Point. Bye!